It's me, Mario! Hmm. Ah! Oh. You know, I never pointed out how sad and sort of creepy and depressing this town's music is. You may have heard me go out a bit, but I chose a really bad time to adjust my mic. Hey there guys, LuigiVan72 here, welcome back to another episode, let's play Pokemon Leaf Green. On the last episode, we, well, I got through Rock Tunnel. Yggdrasil is at level 30, well, almost at level 31, but it's almost there to evolve. I'm gonna have him up front, actually. No. No, I'll have him up front for now, for training purposes. And on this episode, we're going off to Route 8. I got myself some more Pokeballs, but unfortunately, all they had were Great Balls. So I have to, like, I had to spend my money a bit, but that's fine. I got plenty of cash on me. Alright, Gambler. I'm a rambling gaming dude, yeah! Yeah, you love to gamble, don't you, you silly little gambler man? Trying to cheat me- wow. <laughs> I forgot that they changed the uh, names for gamblers to uh, gamers, but if his name was, if they kept the name Gambler, that would have been hilarious that his name is Rich. Also, uh, jeez, that Growlithe, oh man, what, what do you mean you were baited? Wow, Yggdrasil, you are gonna get owned. You are gonna get owned by a Growlithe. And it's stu being stupid and using Owner Sleuth. Okay, that's fine. Um, wow, what a great way to start off the battle. I'm gonna try my Poison Powder combo. I know Yggdrasil is gonna faint, and I'm gonna leave it all up to Jules. This was a really bad decision. It is and it's still being stupid by using Leer. Okay. Okay, Yggdrasil is back to normal level, and hopefully we'll be able to survive, like, the next Ember or whatever. Uh, tackle. Hope for it. That's not a lot of damage. And you're using Roar, so that's... And it's a Pokemon I don't care about! <laughs> and it's a tra and it's the traded Pokemon, too. That's even more hilarious. And that... <laughs> I'm gonna try it, just for giggles. Yep. There you go! Farfetch came through and survived and like... <laughs> so dumb. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, traded Pokémon always get a little boost uh, in experience. So keep that in mind, which is why they grow levels faster than, normal, than Pokémon you normally catch. That's funny. And you have a Vulpix, hey! Cool. I'm on board with that. Uh, wow. Oh no, Will-O-Wisp. Oh no, that's instant burn. Ah, uh, I should have faced that last. Why did I decide to fight this gamer? Who really is called Ga- Really? You also know Roar. And you're sending out Rocket. Okay, um, Rocket, um, I don't know, fight. Do <laughs> it's being stupid again and using Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> it's like burning my team a lot. Okay, one more. Oh, Confuse Ray. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, this is already bad. This is hilariously bad. Wait, it was holding an item? Apparently it was holding a person berry. Okay. I wish I'd known that, but I guess I wasn't paying attention again. And we defeated Rich. Yeah, you missed your big chance because you used more. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go heal up everyone. And we are back! Alright, so I'm gonna go here in this patchy area of grass because I'm Pokemon hunting today. Yes, I am. I'm not hunting for Meowth, but I am hunting for a very, very, very specific Pokemon here. Did I mention Berry? I'm pretty sure I mentioned Berry. Here you can find a Raw Sperry that ironically cures burns, a lum berry that can cure any status infliction that your Pokemon may have. That is a completely useful move. Not move, um, berry. To have and stuff, so keep that in mind. Alright, there's more here. 
Yeah. There's a Lepa Berry that is um an elixir, basically. It restores 10 power points of a move. And there we go! This is the Pokemon I have been looking for for like two seconds. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we'll say, don't kill her! <laughs> he gonna see I know you want to evolve badly, but don't kill this Vulpix, whatever you do. Oh, please don't kill it. Oh. Uh, and there we go. We got ourselves Vulpix, which is a new member of my team. Yes, I am going for a Vulpix. Vulpix is Vulpix, by the way, is ex is exclusive to Pokemon Leaf Green. If you're playing Pokemon Fire Red, you'll get its equivalent, uh, Growlithe. So there you go. And the nickname I will give this Vulpix, if I remember correctly, I believe it was this. Disco, recommended by Hesitant Dragon again. Dragon, you just now named two of my Pokemon. Well, that's that. I'm gonna go get Disco. If you're curious, if you if you still want an Abra and you haven't caught one yet, you can find an Abra here. That's the only other Pokemon I know off the top of my head. So I'm gonna grab Disco and get rid of someone, and I'll be right back. I want to point out right here that uh, Disco here, well, well, not Disco, but uh, Bullpix will always have a Rossberry on them. Um, uh, no, not always, but I, like, have a 50% chance of holding a Rossberry in this game. And, uh, if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, which, where you can also get a Vulpix, they will always have a Rossberry, so... That's important info that you may want to know, but from here on out, it's like, 50% chance. Now, what's unfortunate, though, is that... Well, that's a cute, round, fluffy Pokémon. The only one I could think of is Jigglypuff. Now, the unfortunate part is, I'm gonna have to train up, uh, Disco here, um... Uh, a lot because she's only at level 16 and her moves are sort of lackluster to <laughs> roar. That's hilarious. So I'm gonna be switch training a lot. So, Disco, you go back into your ball and I'll send out Eek to see you. And I hate Clefairies because they know Minimize. Crap! Minimize is like the double team. It, people can abuse it. Why aren't you a fairy type? I wanna poison you so bad. <laughs> that is my response. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Oh no, critical hit. Wow, four times double slap. Will that wake me up? No, I wish. Wow, this completely sucks. Dude, seriously, can you stop doing that? Finally! That was annoying! And I'm so glad I got a critical hit and was able to hit that stupid Clefairy! Oh, that was so dumb! And another Clefairy! No! No! Anything but that! Uh, I really wish I'd have an experience share. That would be really convenient right now. You know what? Follow me is pointless unless you're in a double battle! That is, I just want to point that out. It's pointless unless you're in a double battle. And apparently that's all Clefairy is determined to do. Just use that. Fine. Whatever. I don't care. Get burned. Please get burned. Get burned. You're using Minimize. That is not a good sign. That is really not a good sign, but whatever. I don't care. No! Don't get comboed! Don't get comboed! Don't get comboed! Oh no, you're getting comboed! Oh my god! No! Switch! Immediately switch! Jules! Come out here and show Disco the robes! Show her how to, like... <sighs> I hate you so much! Your Clefairy was being mean to my Pokémon! That was a very dumb cheap fight. And I'm back again for like the third time, and of course I ran straight into a battle. You should be informed, you need strategy to win this. Is it a very cheap strategy, like saying then minimize and then double slap? Because if it is, that's a very dumb strategy. Also, you have a Grimer. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> just no. It's a no. Instant no. 
Go ahead, harden up, because you know why? I have a psychic type. I have a psychic type. Get confused, you pile of sludge, you. Aww, oh, the one hit KO. Oh, that could be bad. Uh, or not. Okay, I'm glad that poison side effect didn't take effect. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, uh, at least this guy's getting more level. A little more ma Whoa, a muck already? Whoa! What? Wow, that's actually impossible. Uh, normally, Grimer evolves a little late. Um, I think like level 35 or something. 38, no, 37. It evolves at level 37, and that muck is so cheap. By the way, muck is the evolved form of Grimer. In case you don't know that already. It looks so silly. Really does. Get slapped. Yes! Getting slapped is a good thing, because I get to confuse you once more and scramble your sludgy sludgeness sludge. How many times I gotta say sludge? I don't know. Yay, Disco Gorilla level! And you're trying to learn Willow Wisp! Hooray! Now it can burn people! Uh, let's get rid of war. <laughs> war. I don't see myself using that, actually. I really don't. Just go learn Willow Wisp, which is perfect. What are you sitting out now? Another Grimer? Uh, you know what? A disco! Since you got a use a useful move, why don't you use it? Alright, let's just use uh Willow Wisp. Let's show it off. And of course he does great. And of course minimizes a thing. Great! Just great. Just thank you. Thank you for burning it. That will help me in a slight in a slightly manner. Actually, maybe I could start taking on this Grimer. I mean, he's only like five levels ahead. Shouldn't be that bad. Oh, unless that sledge hits. But its attack is that. <laughs> that took half. Alright, Disco, you you definitely need some time before you can join the ranks of Jules and Igris. 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 I can't, can't pronounce the names today for some Especially they're foreign. Alright, whatever, you're burned. That's fine, because you know I get confused. That's my go to ace in a hole type thing. Alright, cool. And. Ah, oh, so close to leveling up. It's not logical, my butt. What do you mean it's not logical? Go with Grimer first and then blah blah blah. Your strategy was a fail, man. You have like two Pokemon, two of the same Pokemon, and three who are the same type. That is obviously gonna fail. Actually, now that I think about it, what what TMs do I have? No, uh, no, no, big? Nah, it's not gonna be useful. Superpower maybe. Star actually, nah. nah, 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 never mind. Is there anything up here besides trainers? There are trainers. There are twins here, but I believe it's only a single battle because for some reason double battles are not a thing. Oh no! Double battles! Yes! There are double battles! No! There's like... Disco is out in front. Uh, you know what? Let's go and switch out to Yggdrasil. And double battles is something new introduced in Gen 4. I just... Gen 4. Gen 3! I want to point that out, by the way. So... Uh... Well, that's actually useful, because it's in a double battle, so it makes sense. Although it has to be two of the semi-bulky Pokémon. Oh, good thing I've switched, because that Jigglypuff apparently knows, uh, freaking, uh, word. Roll out! That's it. That move sucks. Razor leaves them both! Do double the damage, double the power! Really? Fuck the Clefairy at 1 HP, and it's using Minimize. You do not want to let this thing continue to use Minimize. Go ahead, Jigglypuff, raise your defense. That's not going to do you good. It's not going to do you good. Alright, I, I just really want to point that out. It's not going to be not. That Clefairy's dead, by the way. And Jules now is now at level 30. Yay. She's growing up in the world. And Yggdrasil will take out that Jigglypuff. Right? Right. Thank you, Yggdrasil. Uh, another level up? No. No, I was already... Uh, your twin power is pointless. To skill? Uh, I just... Oh, I looked into that last. 
Yeah, actually you do. Three girls and a random nerd. I'm assuming he's a nerd. Oh wow, you have six Pokemon. Oh wow, they're at level 19. Well, your first Pokemon is. You know what, Jules? You get to take on this Pidgey. Or not. Jules will. Did I just call Disco Jules? I feel like I just called Disco Jules. I don't know. It's gonna be hard, because I'm so used to having only two Pokemon with me, and now I have, like, a third wheel. Hooray! Third wheel! They're not fun. <laughs> so dumb I am. Yay, burn! That's useful. Oh, no poison. Don't get poison. Don't get poison. Don't get poison. Yes! As long as you don't get poison, Jewel... <laughs> Dang it! I almost call you Jewel! As long as you don't get poison, Disco. You're, you're fine. Although I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty confident you'll take out that, uh, Nidoran male. So close, but it's using double kick. I shouldn't be worried that much. Yeah, it's not that bad. Bye! Okay, level up! Ah, oh, so close for a level up. Okay, a Rattata. That's the next Pokemon, I guess. That's fine, you know why? Oh, you're quick- Oh, god, you're quick attacking me. Um, let's switch you out for Yggdrasil. Just because. Yeah. You, you keep quick attacking me, I'll just Razor Leaf your face off. Get Razor Leaf. There we go, you got Razor Leaf. Hooray. And Disco Grill level, hooray! Who else? Who else? I'm out? Fine. Um. I doubt Disco will be able to handle Meowth. Especially at her current HP. So, let's swap her back with Yggdrasil. I need tougher trainers. The tougher trainers to like get give a lot of experience, even when you trade out. That needs to be a thing somewhere. Ah, I wish that experience here. That would have so been useful. Pikachu, huh? Nah. Back to Disco. Swap her out for Yggdrasil again, and hope for the best. And swabity swap swap. Okay, there we go. And razor leaf your face. Bye, Pikachu. No one will miss you, except one random person. Because there's always that one person that misses someone. And we defeated Megan. I don't care what I did with your cute Pokemon. And ignore. Just straight up ignore. Ignore everyone. <laughs> I'll get these battles off screen. Just don't freak out. And what is your department store Celadon City? It's a great selection. Do you go there very often? No, because I haven't been to Celadon City yet. Girl, you know where I'm named? No. By the way, you have to take this underground path because this cuts through Saffron City, which the guards won't let you through again. Those are jerks. Okay, what do you guys say now? I heard a sleepy Pokemon appear outside near Celadon City. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's new to me. And what is this? We oh, wet pair berry wet pair. What is that again? Uh, I think it's another ingredient for like medicine and junk. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's not entirely useful yet. Uh, there's grass here. You can find the Vulpix here too. By the way, I'm just pointing out. And here we are. It's not. Hello, Team Rocket. Uh, okay, okay. But okay, but I am gonna call this an episode. So, if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap that subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, then blame yourself for listening to me. And on the next episode, we're gonna explore Celadon City because that's where we're supposed to be. Also, maybe I will get another Pokemon soon. Yeah, we're getting to the point where I'm getting a lot of Pokemon. So, if you got nicknames for me, leave them in the comments below. Just leave any. I have, so far I have three Pokemon already named. I have three left that I have yet to name or capture. So, give me three nicknames and I might pick yours and go with it. I don't know.
Just saying. If you have nickname suggestions, give it to me. Just... Oh, oh, Rocket had something. What do you have? You got a Pentaberry. That's great. And I'll see you guys next time! <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that I don't know, like I wrote on the blackboard. I know everything about I know about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy Advance. Oh my god, he's breaking the fourth wall! He's just No! 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 <laughs> oh my soul! What point do you fly anymore? There it is. There's that wish. I hate wish so freaking much.